Welcome back, welcome back. Now listen, uh, I've got this far. They're all busy in there. They're all at different stages, so I don't know what stage you're at. So anyway, we've got that. There's the basic card. You can leave it at that, obviously, if you want to. But I've cut these out ready. Now I've taken one of the sentiments and I've just put it on a piece of the scrap card that we had for the green background. And I've also cut out from the holly leaves and the berries there. I've just cut those out and I've just put a single double-sided foam pad on the back. Now I'm going to try and, without overdoing it, I might not use all of them, but I don't know the word, overdo. I'm just going to stick my sentiment on. I've just put some double-sided pads on the back here. And I'm going to stick, I could stick that anywhere I wanted to, I could stick it there, but I'm going to stick it down here, like so. So it's just slightly overlapping the picture there. And I'm just going to add some bits of holly and uh, a little foam pad on the back. You'd have to go straight there, but it's going to be hidden behind there, like that. So, oh, I don't want to overdo it, but no one me, I will. I'll just pop that there. So I'm just creating my design. Now I'm doing this upside down, don't forget. So just slip that under there gently. Can I just turn it round a minute, Chuck? So I want to see what I'm doing. That can go <coughs> under there, I think. I think I'll just do it overlapping slightly. don't really want it to go out over the top where the card finishes. But it doesn't matter if it bends, does it? Making this up. This is like chaos crafting. I think I'll have one more up here. Of course I'm overdoing it, aren't I? But never mind. It's Christmas! You can overdo it. Taking the back off. We'll have one up there. I've got one left. <laughs> I've got to use it and to put it along the bottom. There you go, I can slot underneath there. So it's like that. So there you go, I've got the card looking a bit like that now. Now I've got some berries. Let's stick some berries on. Make this stand out nicely. Let's pop that one there. Don't really want to cover the whole of the sign, do I? That can go there. Very talkative in the uh, craft room there. Bet they gossiping about me. <coughs> Probably. Well, Mary's cutting something out and uh, the little ones kind of interfering. So. <laughs> the little ones do. There you go, I'm just adding the berries here and I'm overlapping the sentiment. I've got I've cut them out so I'm gonna use them. That can go underneath there. I've got one more here. You can use as much, as many as little as you want. Or oh, I should just say as well. Uh, thank you, Linda, for your comment earlier on. We did try to get back to you, so there is now a reply to that. So we are gonna to get to the stage where we'll be able to reply live as we do it, but I'm gonna need a little bit of help with that. So uh, we are trying to come back to you as quickly as we can during the course of the broadcast. There you go. There's my finished card. Let's get rid of the rubbish. There you go. Now you could add a little bit of glue and a little bit of snow onto these tips here if you want to. Or put a little drift along there. But that's basically my stepper card with the recess box on the back there. Lovely. You got so there you go. It's finished. Well, for me, I think that's finished now. I don't want it to do any more. If you've uh, made one, please put a picture up. You can put it up tomorrow or next week or whenever you want. Don't forget you can go and visit with up to our ninth week now. There's nine different projects on there. Just because you've seen this one, if you've only just joined this week, don't worry. You can go back. Barry will explain in a minute where to go and find them. But there's a whole category there for Get Creative and it's all free downloads. So uh, Barry will explain how you get them. We'll see you next week. Uh, we'll put some more pictures up of everybody's finished cards later. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you next Saturday morning or whenever you watch it. Barry, have you got something to say? Uh, yep. Yeah. 
I'm sure you have. Certainly have. Now, if you have just joined us and you would like to join the group, then all you need to do is send Alan a request. If you're already a member and you've not seen the other projects that we've done in the previous nine weeks, then all you need to do is go to alanandbarry.co.uk and then go into the shop and then into downloads and then you'll find a category for Get Creative. Now, for each download that you want to download, it will ask you to enter your email address. That doesn't mean to say that you're going to be entering your email address and you're going to get hundreds of emails. It's just for verification. Once you've done that, you've got to download it straight to your computer. You will also find there the videos for each of the live broadcasts that we've done. They're all split up into sections, as of course will this one be. So they'll be numbered one to whatever. So obviously you need to watch them in numeric order. That said, <coughs> that's me finished. So let's have got a look. finish with a final look. I know, that's what we're going to do. There you go, there's a final look of the finished card and there's another one there that's inspired it. Once you've got that template, you can play around with different uh, backing papers, 3D images. These are great if you do like doing your 3D decoupage, because quite often you just stick them on a card and they kind of get damaged over time. This way, you can actually put them in the box there, seal them up, and then they're protected from dust and everything. So there you go, there's the final image.